Hi, my name is Steve Houston. You already know that. If you're new to this channel, we discuss all things financial services. We talk about the IMOs, the good ones and the bad ones. We talk about comp plans. We talk about contract rates. We talk about mortgage protection, final expense, IULs, retirement protection, college funding, all of those things that make up our industry. But more importantly, we talk about mindset here and goal settings. I think those are the things that really people don't factor in in this business enough. They look at the IMOs, they look at the comp plans, they look at the contract rates, they look at the carriers, and all those things are important to your success. But I would argue that everybody has those things, right? A lot of the carriers have those types of things. And the number one thing most people miss is that coaching and mentoring and your mindset that's going to make the biggest difference in your success. So many of us, even though we're working the lead program, we, maybe we're working our friends, family, and neighbors, whatever, we're out there prospecting, we're trying to find customers or prospects for our product, mindset becomes a big deal, right? You need to get good at controlling the six inches, that matter between your two ears, because there, we live in, look, we live in a skeptical and negative world. And if you don't control that part, no matter how good the IMOs are, no matter how good your coaching are, no matter how good the products are, no matter how good the industry is and all those things, it, it doesn't matter. You've got to control this part right here in my, you're going to have bad days. You're going to go drive two hours. They're not going to be home. They're going to be, you're going to drive two hours and they are going to be home and they're not going to buy. It's part of the business. It's part of being in sales even though I wouldn't really consider ourselves in sales, we're more educators than we are salespeople, at least that's how I look at it. It's tough out there at times. It's a very simple business, but it's not easy. And I believe that being able to, to get into a book, read, keep your mind in check, keep positive thoughts going into your head to fight back the negative influences that we all experience will be the determining factor in your success. However, you've heard me in the past say, that I believe being able to get some leads and converting those leads into an appointment being the number one skill, I'm gonna bump that down to number two. I believe mindset, since I talked to so many of you during the course of the week um, that are dealing with a mindset issue or someone says something or, or, or you've gone on 12 appointments and, no, and you didn't close any sales or uh, your family members or your friends or your coworkers or whatever, told you is a scam, you shouldn't be in it, all those things, I think. Being able, to, being able to push back on that resistance, go watch my I Quit uh, video, I'll put it up here, and maybe that'll help you with that. That's what you have to control, and you can be working on that the rest of your life. It's not something you can do, work on for 30 days, right? You're gonna have to work working on it your whole life. But I wanna talk about the, the, the number one thing, which is goal setting and planning, and I believe the numbers are powerful. They empower you if you understand the number. You're willing to be coachable, you're willing to have a burning desire to succeed, and uh, you're willing to go out there and work. You can learn this business. It's not just for a select few, it's not for the people who had the right education or lived on the right side of the street or, or what, none of that matters. What matters is controlling the six inches between your ears and being willing to goal set, game plan, have those three qualities, burning desires to see, willing to work and be coachable and find the right coach and not network marketing type IMOs, by the way, that force you to recruit. In fact, they got you recruiting before you even sell a product. Stay away from those things, in my opinion. But the problem with those, the biggest problem with those is, is that the upline, I hate that word, knows no more than you do because they're recruiters and they never put their name on an application. I would submit to you if you're willing those IMOs to find a way to go to another IMO, find a coach, a mentor, or spend more time on this channel, comment on things you're struggling with on this video, put it out there. Uh, you know, if enough people ask, I'll, I'll answer it. Uh, if I don't answer it because there's not enough people ask, then call me or email me or text me and I'll help you with that if you can't get the help where you're at, because that's the problem, in my opinion, with this entire industry. So I want to talk about simple numbers to earn six figures part-time. And I want to start off sharing one thing with you. I love starting off the, uh, the, the uh, videos with something positive. Winners don't let little limiting things like doubt and uncertainty stand in their way, right? Winners focus more on what they want than on why they can't have it. Then they decide to go out there and do whatever it takes to get it. So let's talk about six figures part-time because these numbers are accurate. Now, okay, disclaimer here, these numbers are based on the law of large numbers, not on the law of small numbers, meaning over 30 days, over six months, over one year, these numbers have been proven to be pretty accurate. So let's talk about six figures part-time, right?
And I will tell you that I believe that this is the best part-time opportunity on the planet, bar none. And why do I say that? Because you can do this business part-time with these numbers, make six figures, and design your job around your life. And why do you want to do that? Why do you want to design your, your job around your life? Because your life is more important than your job. I don't want on my tombstone that I was a good insurance salesman, right? There are more important things in life, and you have the ability here to design the life that you want, knock out what you need to do. And look, I love this business, and I like going out and selling insurance and helping protect families. But, you know, would I rather be doing that or would I rather be doing an extended vacation with my family? right? It's my daughter's birthday today. Would I rather be, you know, selling insurance or spending time with her? That's the point. I, I love the business. I know what we do matters and I'm passionate about it. But at the end of the day, what you leave behind this earth is not that you were a good life insurance salesman. It was whether you were a good parent or you're a good husband. All those things are what matters. So let's talk about making six figures part-time as business. 10 means we're going to buy 10 leads. Okay, now disclaimer here because people always shoot holes in what I'm saying. This means you're buying 10 fresh leads, okay? Many of these IMOs have A, B, C, or 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 50 cents. The older the lead, the less these accurate these numbers are going to become. You're going to have to do more leads to get the ratio where you need it to be, right? This is based on buying 10 leads per week that are considered fresh, whichever IMO you're with. As long as they're not redating, recycling, repurposing those leads, and that helps a lot out there, right? So we're going to buy 10 leads. We're going to set six appointments. And out of those six, six appointments, we're going to close three sales. Okay? So we're going to buy 10 leads. We're going to set six appointments, and we're going to close three sales. Now, those three sales, I have to look at my monitor over here make sure that you can still see it. Those three sales... Uh, industry average nationwide in the mortgage section and final expense industry is $1,000.82 per year, or what we call APV, annual premium volume. That's the average sale you should be making in the mortgage section industry. So we're going to say three apps, average be, will be $1,082 APV or annual premium volume. Now I need to clean my board a little bit so you have more room. Okay. Now, at three sales, here's what it should look like. So we're going to make some assumptions here. We've got three sales at 1,082. We're going to assume that you're at least on the 70% contract rate, right? Now, contract rate does not necessarily mean commission rate. So for this example, we're going to sell the IMOs or core products, which is where you should get the the contract rate should match your commission rate, right? So we're going to assume that you're at a minimum of the 70%. If you're not at 70%, well, that's a problem. You might want to consider going somewhere else, right? And that's a minimum, right? You should be able to be at 70%. You should be able to go all up to 110% based on your own personal production. That's my opinion, right? So let's break this down. So three sales at 1,082 would give us a number somewhere around 3246 gross. Right? Now, net to you at your 70% contract would be 2272. Okay, that's net before lead cost. So now let's take a look at what this means to your bank account, right? So we get paid 75% of this advance from the insurance company, like Mutual Ma, Transamerica, whatever that is. So that's going to be 1704. This is what you're going to see deposited in your bank account, not the 2272, because you're going to hold back 25%, right? It's for chargeback purposes. The average application in mortgage protection in this industry stays on the books on an average nine months. So they're going to pay you nine months in advance, which is 75%, right? The remaining 25%, they will pay you. Let's just say, for example, you sold the policy in January. You're paid up until September. Come uh, uh, October, November, December, you'll get the remaining 25%. Hope that's clear. I get that question a lot. So that money is still yours as long as the policy stays on the books. And if you're doing it right, it should, right? So let's add that back in. We have to add that back in, which is $568. So we can figure out what our, our uh, net pay is. Okay, we also had lead costs. So we paid, uh, let's just say, assume we paid, we bought 10 leads. We paid $41 a piece for them. So that's $410. We're going to have to take that out 
because that's our lead cost. How we're working the lead program is, is that now you're in front of people every week that actually want our product. We're not trying to convince all the time. We know that these people are actually interested because they wrote something back in. Okay, so the bottom line is you, you got the 2272, which is really a gross figure because that's your 75%. Then you take out the 25%, you're left with $1,704. You add back in the 568 because that's still earnings. Then you subtract the $410 for lead costs, you end up with 18 $1,868 in net, net income. That means after lead cost, I get people are saying, well, see that, you know, you get taxes. Well, yes, of course. All things should be assumed that you have, to, you have to be taxed on this money. Okay, so I got my calculator here. I want to check my math. I got $1,704 plus 568 minus 410. And this should be 1,862. So there you go. Okay, so 1,862 times four gives us about 7,500 a month times 12 is 89,376 before taxes, right? So we didn't quite make it to six figures, but we're off, awful, awful close here. Now remember, uh, in mortgage protection, you're generally going to be making two sales for every home. M in most cases, I'd say about 90% of the time, you'll sell a policy for him and for her. So even though you only have a lead cost of $410, we only accounted for one sale per household. So there are low numbers. They're not exaggerated numbers because on this channel, I like to be stone cold facts, right? Truth. Wait, whatever it is, give it to me, right? So, but the reality is, is that you will sell... Um, a couple, two policies, conservatively 70% of the time. So this number should be more like two to $3,500 per week, in which case you'd be well over six figures. So if you're doing uh, two sales per home, you met with, uh, you set six appointments, you closed three, three homes, you should be writing six applications, which doubles these numbers. So somewhere between $1,900 and $3,500 you should be well over six figures. And I consider that more or less part-time activity. You are capable of succeeding in this business. The opportunity has already been validated. We have people in this industry that are making hundreds of thousands of dollars per year on their own pen. No team, no recruiting, no network marketing stuff, just running leads and, getting, and building their business. So if they can do it, you can do it. That's the point, right? But all you need now is a workable plan and be committed to it. And if you send me, look, in the comment section below, please do this. Subscribe, mash the button below. You'll get instant notifications of the videos that are coming out. Like the video, share the video, and comment below. Please send me the spreadsheet, the goal setting spreadsheet, and I will send it to you. Uh, and you can plug your numbers in and figure out exactly what you need to do and what your expectations should be in terms of if you do this activity, you know, this is what will happen, right? And it's a great spreadsheet that I'll share it with you for free. Just put it in the comment section if you'd like to have it, and I'll send it out to you, all right? Again, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, mash the bell like that, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate you being here on a Sunday afternoon. Remember, on Wednesdays, we upload a video on agent training series, uh, training topic for every week, and then on Sunday, it's just random, whatever I want to share with you that I've been getting a lot during the week that I think will be some of, of value. So two times a week, Wednesdays and Sundays, be here, and I look forward to sharing with you again. Grateful that you're here. Bye-bye now.